Now we will solve numerical number 7 which is based on electric fields and coulomb law. For this we will read the question a charge of 1 micro coulomb. 1 micro coulomb is located on the x axis at x equals to minus 0.1 meter and a charge of 1 micro coulomb is located on the x axis at x equals to plus 0.1 meter. Okay. So let us make first this is my x axis, right? 1 micro coulomb is located on the x axis at x equals to minus 0.1 meter. Okay. Oh, uh, let us say, let us say, why it's not taking? This is here 0, 0. So, 1 is located at let us say the distance is this distance is 0 0.1 meter minus because now on the left hand side and and a charge of 1 micro coulomb is located on x axis at x equals to So let us say this is plus 0 0.1 meter, this distance, right? So we can say this is this is Q1, this is Q2, okay? I think this is clear to you. And what is Q1? The Q1 is 1 micro coulomb and Q2 is also 1 micro coulomb, okay? Question now says... Determine the total electric field on the y-axis at y equals to 0.2 meter. Now we need to find here. Okay. Y-axis at point y. Let us say this is this is at point. See this is x y-axis right. So this is point y and the distance of this point is what is the distance 0 0.2 meter so this is 0 0.2 meter and let us say this is point point y okay so we need to calculate the electric field at point y at 0 0.2 meters okay it's like, i think this is clear to you now we'll just figure out this picture now we'll just do like this do like this let us say uh, let us say this is R1, this distance is R2, this vector, and let us say this is small r, okay? Now, electric field lines. Always remember, if it is a positive charge, then electric field lines goes outwards. Okay, if it is a positive, then these are the electric field lines. Okay, if it is a negative one, suppose this is a negative one, and we need to find out the electric field. Suppose these are the electric field lines, so the direction will be inwards. Okay, these if it is a negative charge okay so remember electric field from positive to negative always always if it is positive then it's outwards if it is negative then it is inwards so now in this question what we will do both the charges q1 and q2 are positive so the electric field where where will be the electric field it will be outwards so due to q1 see due to q1 the electric field will be in this direction let us say this is e1 due to q2 the electric field will be in this direction let us say it is e2 okay so i hope you understood and we need to find out the resultant electric field E. Okay. 
this is E1, this is E2 and we need to find out electric field E1. How? How we will find out? So, first of all, we will find out the formula. So, we all know electric field equals to K, the charge. So, charge is Q1 by distance. What is the distance? It is r1 square and now the the unit vector is r1 dash please remember when we are doing the force then there are two charges but now electric field only one point charge now in this due to charge q2 by r2 square and what is the unit vector r2 okay you all know if we open the unit vector then what will happen it will be a vector upon the magnitude plus here k q2 by r2 square and if we open it is the vector and then it is the magnitude and now what will be the totally it will be k q1 by r1 q and this is my vector plus k q2 by r1 q sorry r2 q and this is r2 vector so this is the formula which we are going to use now the same as we did in the in the force question we'll just calculate all the magnitudes okay so how we are going to calculate okay let us see let us say this one let us say this distance is r1 dash and let us say this distance is r2 dash okay now how how do we figure out so r1 dash vector equals to so look at this one so what are the coordinates x axis is minus 1 minus point 0.1 plus 0 okay so coordinates will be 0 0.1 i plus 0 j because there is no coordinate on the y axis if we if we find out this r2 dash then it will be again 0 0.1 i plus 0 j right now if we need to find out r vector this is on the y axis so now there is no coordinate on the x axis plus 0 0.2 j it, it is clear i hope it is clear to you and now we need to find out r1 so now look at the this one if we need to find out r1 so what will what will happen this r1 we need to find out so it will be r minus r1 And what will be R2? R minus R2. Okay. So it will be R minus R1 dash. Which is equal to. What is R? 0 I plus 0 0.2 J minus. Now what is R1 dash? 0 0.1 I plus zero j so we will calculate it it will come out to zero one point i plus zero point two j meters this is my r1 dash next is i need to find out r2 dash is equal to r dash minus r2 dash and we will find out it will be minus 0 0.1 i plus 0 0.2 j meters so this is my r2 dash okay and now we need to find out the formula uh, the magnitude so magnitude will be r1 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.2 square 
then it will come out 0 0.224 meters and then if we need to find out r2 then it will be minus 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.2 square equals to 0 0.224 meter okay so r1 and r2 is this and q1 equals to q2 equals to 1 micro coulomb now what we will do we will substitute all the values and find out the answers so what will be my total electric field it will be 9 into 10 to the power 9 okay so please note q1 and q2 both are equal to 1 micro coulomb right and r1 and r2 are also equal that is 0 0.224 meters okay so if they are equal then the formula this formula basically this formula what will happen these are equal then we can take k and q common and this is also common r1 also common okay everything will be common but just the difference between the r1 and r2 vector values so we will write k q1 is 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb we have taken the and now next is 0 0.224 q so this is the common the difference between just the vectors r1 and r3 so it will become 0 0.1 i plus 0 0.2 j plus minus 0 0.1 i plus 0 0.2 j meters and when we solve it the answer will be 320.3 into 10 to the power 3 j newton per coulomb so that will be the answer I hope you understood this. Please practice. Thank you so much.